Welcome back to the Actiri Magic Channel. I'm Steve, the Actiri. Today we are talking about Lord Xander, the Collector, and the disgusting things that you can do. This is a hot take and not the full video. But before we get into the video, I want to thank MTG on Command for being today's sponsor. They make these really cool 3D printed deck boxes where you can keep your commander on the front and tell exactly what's in every single one of these. There's a little magnet on the back to hold him or her in place. Link in the description below for them. All right, let's talk about it. Okie dokie. So, Lord Xander. Okay, now I think this guy kind of speaks for himself. Herself. Himself. Right? Uh, he is super, super cool. So he's a 7-drop, 6-6. Six, six, that says, whenever you enter the battlefield, the target opponent discards half their hand, rounded down. Whenever he attacks, defending player mills half their library, rounded down. And whenever he dies, target opponent sacrifices half of the non-land permanents they control, rounded down. So it can't board and wipe your lands, but he's still super, super powerful. Now, let's talk about abusing this young gentleman. I, I mean, he's a vampire noble. I'm pretty sure he's not. Vampire demon noble. Pretty sure he's not very young. Also, by the way, check out his like, uh, check out the set symbol. That's a brass knuckles set in wings. I it took me a while to check that out. I thought that was funny. All right. So Lord Xander likes to enter the battlefield. Likes to swing. Likes to die. Okay. Sneak attack says <laughs> for red and three generic and enchantment. It says you can pay one red. Choose a creature card from your hand and put that card into play. The creature is unaffected by summoning sickness at the end of turn. Sacrifice this creature. So if we have some way of getting Lord Xander in our hand, maybe he's not even our commander. He's in the ninety nine. Sneak attacking him into play means we're gonna get enter the battlefield trigger we're going to get the attack trigger and we're going to get the death trigger if they don't have answers whoa so unbelievably powerful but there's even easier ways and we've got the most busted is at the end but we've got even easier ways to getting him back so let's check this out we got footsteps of the gorio for three mana return a target creature card from your graveyard to play sacrifice that creature at end of turn Granted, we're not getting the attack trigger, but we're for three mana, we're getting both the enters the battlefield trigger and the dies trigger. This is so unbelievably powerful. But oh, we're not yet there yet. Keep keep hanging out. Hold on. We've also got Saw in half. <laughs> okay, so if Lord Xander stays out there for any amount of time, Saw in half is hilarious. For a black and two generic, it says destroy target creature. If that creature dies this way, which means we've already destroyed that creature, Xander is getting his death trigger. Its controller creates two tokens that are copies of that creature. Okay, so we get two new enter the battlefield triggers, uh, except their base power is half that creature's power and their base toughness is half that creature's toughness round it up each time okay so we're getting two lord xanders in play after we've just gotten a lord xander death trigger lord xander's death trigger happens we get and enters the battlefield trigger by the way these all sit and hang out all these triggers hang out until saw and half resolves completely okay so lord xander dies we get his death trigger the death trigger is hanging out so somebody's about to have to sack half their non-land permanents then we get two new ones, two baby ones. Now, their enter the battlefield triggers both happen. So some two people are gonna have to discard half their hand, cards in hand. Now, the legend rule applies. We're gonna have to sacrifice one of our little cut in half Lord Xanders, and we're gonna get another death trigger. So we're gonna get two death triggers and two enter the battlefield triggers for three mana. Granted though, Lord Xander has to be in play, but that is gross, 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 gross. <laughs> Next up, we have Rite of Repl Replication. This is outright the most powerful thing we can be doing, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but it's not my favorite thing that we can be doing. So Rite of Replication says, for four mana, create a token that's a copy of target creature. If the spell was kicked, create five of those tokens instead. So if we target Lord Xander with Rite of Replication, we're going to get six Enter the Battlefield triggers, six Death triggers. Sorry, sorry. Five into the battlefield triggers and five death triggers just from Rite of Replication resolving at, with its kicker. So imagine what you're going to do to your opponents, making five people discard half the cards in their hand, sack half the cards in their in, in play. It's gross. It's really, really gross. And oh, by the way, why don't you just keep one of the tokens and let Lord Xander himself go to the graveyard? Because that means now you can reanimate him again with all of the reanimator spells we've been talking about already. This is disgusting. Now, we're just talking about clones, and we don't really care if the clone gets killed. So, Phantasmal Image comes into play for two mana. 
It's a zero zero. It comes in and plays a copy of target creature, except for it's an illusion. And if you if somebody targets it with anything, it gets sacrificed. But we don't care because we want it to die anyway. But it comes into play, copying Lord Xander. And then we have to sacrifice one of the two immediately. And depending on our needs, we can sacrifice Lord Xander himself or the copy. And then Phantom Image, Phantasmal Image, is just going to go away as soon as they target it anyway. So we get another Death Trigger. So we get a win-win here. But Lord Xander going to the graveyard might benefit us because then we can reanimate him again. So Phantasmal Image is good. It's amazing. Now, uh, uh, one of the cards that I haven't seen mentioned with Lord Xander is Tegrid. Turgrid, <laughs> God of Fright. So with the five mana, four, five, God. So we're just going to play that she's out there for a little bit. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from your, a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Excuse me. So <laughs> Lord Xander is our commander. Turgrid's Ter in the 99. If we get Turgrid, we can do some disgusting things. Like, so for instance, I have imagined a world where I let both of these go to my graveyard. Lord Xander's come and gone once, I let him hang out in my graveyard, whatever, cool. If I have Lord Xander in the graveyard and Tegra in the graveyard, now I can do this. I can sacrifice one of the tokens, whatever I have out, in our earlier example, of a phantasmal image. Um, we can sacrifice the, uh, the phantasmal image to victimize, which would be fantastic. Then we get back Lord Xander and Tegrid, Turgrid. Now that one, that earlier copy of Phantasmal Image that was a copy of Lord Xander, it goes to the graveyard, we get a death trigger, and then Lord Xander, the new one comes into play, and that one's gonna enter the battlefield and make somebody discard half the cards in their hand. Whatever they discard to Tegrid, Turgrid is going to go into play, like a non-permanent card is gonna go into play in our, our control. But then if we have an immediate sack outlet, we can sacrifice Lord Xander and then get more permanents from our opponents with Turgrid. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this card. <laughs> but I wanna warn you, he's a kill on site commander. People are gonna like move heaven and earth to make sure that this guy does not stay on the battlefield. Path to Exile is going to be super, super important in this format. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming out. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and go check out MTG on Command. There's a link in the description below for their website with 10% off. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We love you. I hope you have a great day. This is my button. Um.